May 2015. A team of OV-10 Broncos arrives at a top secret air base in northern Iraq. They're part of a special operations program called Combat Dragon 2. The purpose of Combat Dragon 2 was to find an aircraft that could fight ISIS. Our theory was that we could employ this low-cost solution and be equally, if not more, effective on how we fight the war. Special operations commanders know it's a wild idea flying a 50-year-old plane that hasn't seen glory since Vietnam. August 2015. The OV-10 Broncos get an urgent request. 70 miles away in Mosul, American allies desperately need the OV-10's help. The Kurdish military, as we call them, the Peshmerga, had been captured by ISIS and had overthrown their captors and were trying to escape. OV-10 pilots get into the plane quickly and fly off toward Mosul. This is just the kind of mission Combat Dragon 2 was designed to do. There was a sense of urgency. There was a sense of commitment and dedication to get there and make sure that we were protecting uh, our coalition forces as we would any US force. 20 minutes after takeoff, the Bronco reaches its target and circles the 10,000 feet. Pilots scan carefully over the city below. In this urban battleground, Bronco crews have to be able to separate the bad guys from the friendlies or risk killing the very people they're trying to help. Intelligence verifies that the men in the building are ISIS insurgents and gives the Bronco the okay to fire. The Bronco crew knows that this is their moment of truth. Shooting a rocket into a building in an urban area is the kind of mission that only a close-in attack aircraft could do. The Bronco crew gets ready to fire. A lot's riding on what happens next. From the time you fire, you have about 20, 25 seconds. It's the 25 seconds of it's going to either make this program or it's going to break this program. They actually detonated inside, so it trapped the ISIS members inside. We saw how the concept of light attack works and how we can make sure that the people that we need to kill are going to be the ones that we kill. The Bronco's success catches the Pentagon's attention. Perhaps a low-cost aircraft can fight in an urban war and succeed. It was a huge win for that aircrew. It was a huge win for the OV-10. It's that type of artisan professionalism that has made the OV-10 Combat Dragon 2 program a success.